Hello guys, in this video we will be discussing on how to translate propositions into propositional forms with the consideration of course that we're done um, discussing on how to use the connectives or signal words under different types of propositions that we have and um, knowing how to translate propositions to propositional forms will help us will help us show or prove um, if the argument is tautology with the truth table, right? So, first things first, let's have some recaps on on um, connective symbols that, that we had. Starting with carrot symbol. Carrot symbol would be for conjunction. So, let's have their end. I'm sorry. That would be for and. And we also have inverted carrot symbol. That would be for disjunction or. And we also discussed curl. That would be for negation. And we also have one sided arrow, which would be for um, implication or the if then. And we also have um, double-sided arrow, which would be for biconditional. Okay, so let's apply these connective symbols in translating propositions into propositional forms. And we have the assumption that F would be about the proposition the fish is fresh and O would be about ordering that fish. So let's have the example, the fish is fresh or I will not order it. And it happens that the fish is fresh. Therefore, I will order it. I will order the fish. So, let's translate these propositions into propositional forms with the use of F and O. Um, let's consider the first statement. The fish is fresh or I will not order it. Notice the connective or there, which signals us to use, yes, the disjunction symbol inverted Carrot. Okay. Next, notice as well that prior to the word or is the proposition the fish is fresh, which is the propositional form letter F. Next, after the word or would be the proposition I will not order it. Observe that O would be about ordering the fish. And this is about not ordering the fish. So it means that we are considering the negation of proposition, uh, propositional form O there. Now, this propositions or um, the first statement here, there, should also be enclosed with the grouping symbol on parenthesis for us to know that we're done with the first statement or the first idea that we have in the argument and once we have another statement yes it's another statement it's another concept which signals us this time to use carrot symbol under conjunction because we are adding we are adding um, another proposition there so yeah, the next statement would be the fish is fresh, which is letter F. There you go. Now, um, yes, whenever you, whenever you have another statement with you guys, always, always use there, the conjunction symbol carrot. Because we are adding another concept, as I mentioned earlier, we are not, we are adding another idea. Therefore, we are to use the conjunction symbol. The exception, the only exception, would be if we have another statement that would have that would have um, a starting a starting signal word under implication. So, once you have another statement that has, um, that has 
a signal word under implications such as therefore, um, hence, so, thus. We won't use, um, we won't use carrot symbol, but instead we are to use one-sided arrow under implication there so notice as well that i i enclosed this part right here with a with a bracket you may use another um another set of parentheses there that's fine um what's the use of this parentheses this is to group all the propositions under the hypothesis or assumption before we can conclude this i will order it which is letter o there so if i were going to if i would be reading this propositional forms here it would be the fish is fresh or i will not order it first sentence and or another sentence we have f the fish is fresh notice that everything here is the hypothesis hypothesis because we have here the one-sided arrow hypothesis for our conclusion i will order it or the o there what if you forgot to use the bracket part or the bracket symbol here there let me show you the importance of the bracket symbol or the um, grouping symbol there notice that if you were not able to write or to put the, the grouping symbol there the hypothesis for this implication would only be just letter f but but is that the argument is that the given argument no the hypothesis for this conclusion should be the entire previous sentences or previous statements so careful right whenever you have your signal word under implication automatically the statements prior to this statement would be hypothesis to this conclusion okay so to picture this out more let's have another example um let's have this for example we have another example if it rains then the game will not be played it happens that it is not raining um we have here therefore the game will be played consideration would be R would be the proposition it trains and G would be the propositional form for the proposition the game will be played. So um, let's consider the first statement. The first statement would be if it trains, then the game will not be played. Note that we start with if and the tandem then. And that is, should it be under conjunction? No disjunction no this time it's implication because the the signal word here or the connective is the tandem if then so that gives us the con the the idea that we are having implication in our first sentence if what then what as discussed, it will always be if hypothesis, then conclusion. So if what? If it rains. So that would be if R, then the game will not be played. Observe that G would be about the game being played. So this time, the conclusion for the first statement would be not G. There. And as noted in our first example, once we're done with the statement, we are to enclose that with a parenthesis. And since we have another statement here, and we are not um, having any signal word under implication at the start of the sentence, therefore we won't use therefore, 
but we are to use as a default and and what and not or because that would be about negating the proposition reigning next we have another statement here but this time it starts with a single word under implication it gives us a hint that we are to enclose this part and we will use the connective symbol one-sided arrow under implication this means that this would be the hypothesis for the conclusion the game will be played or letter g there you go have your period because this would be um yeah sentences so let's read it would be if it rains then the game will not be played it is not training therefore the game will be played there you go so i hope it's it's clear by now on how um i mean the steps and how to translate propositions into propositional forms it's very important for us to know how to translate um, propositions into propositional forms because once the translation is is wrong then the entire truth table will also be wrong because this propositional forms right here the translation here will be used later on in our truth table okay so again if you have confusions don't hesitate to have some comments there in the comment section then i'll be very happy to um cater your questions all right so the next video would be about this time proving this argument if it's tautology or not all right see you there guys in my next videos